Hello everyone! Welcome to school year 2020-2021. I'm teacher Jarson and this is your first video assisted modular learning in general mathematics for grade 11. Enjoy! To start, we have to secure our learning module entitled Functions as Models, Piecewise Functions Simplified. Since this is video assisted modular learning, we have to refer to our printed module from time to time. Moreover, let me walk you through the different parts of the module for you to be acquainted. Firstly, we have to read the what I need to know. That summarizes the skills or competencies we have to manifest at the end of the module. Next, we have to go through what I know. This is the diagnostic part to check what we already know. What's in, on the other hand, links the previous lesson to the new one. Meanwhile, What's new is the introduction of the new lesson and what is it is the discussion proper. In addition, What's More offers exercises for us to complete to master the lesson. After that, we will generalize our learnings in what I have learned part and apply them on what I can do, assessment, and additional activities. The answer key is placed at the end as reference to check our answers. Hence, Answer the activities honestly and religiously. As provided in what I need to know, our lesson for today is a review at the same time an extension of the functions learned in junior high school. Specifically, we have to represent functions through mappings, sets of ordered pairs, tables of values, graphs, and equations. Next, we should be able to differentiate functions from mere relations and finally, represent real-life situations using functions including piecewise. At this juncture, pause the video and answer the pre-assessment portion. If possible, ask someone to check your answer using the answer key. We have two parts of the pre-assessment, identifying if the given is a function or a mere relation, and modeling functions. Good luck! For now, pause the video. How did you fare in what I know part? Should you get them all correct? It pays to master modeling functions. So let's proceed to what's in. We've been talking about functions and relations since junior high school. Can you still remember how to differentiate the two? By the way, how do you spell Philippines? Did I spell it right? I spell it that way since Philippines is a country of Hogotero at Magaling sa pickup line. Accordingly, don't be alone in this world full of alon. So if you wanna have fun, travel ka. Malay mo, makita mo yung Juan. And may I suggest, unahin mo sa Domagete. Kasi Domagete, get me. Kaso, sa kakagala, anong napala natin? Kung hindi sunburn? Sakit ng paa? Masasaya, pero madalas? Nanungkot na ala-ala. Dahil akala ko, zambales lang ang may iba. Ikaw rin pala. Nung nag-mountain climbing ako, tinanong ko si Kuya. Kuya, 10 minutes na lang po ba talaga bago summit? Sagot niya, Nako, 10 minutes na lang po talaga. Sagot ko naman, Kuya, marami nang nanloko sa akin. Please lang, huwag ka nang dumagdag. Pero kahit nagsinwaling si Kuya Guide, Kahit pagod na siya, at least di niya ako iniwan. At nung nasa summit na kami, doon ko na-realize na mas madali palang makahanap ng perfect view kaysa sa perfect relationship. Dahil sa panahon ngayon, ang daming pa-fall. To begin our review, would you mind thinking of the most meaningful yet hurtful relationship you had? And if you want to pause the video and take time sharing them to someone, feel free to do so. I believe they've been hurtful since they've been special and significant to us. Do you know that in mathematics, we also have special relations? We call them functions. By the way, a relation is a mapping or pairing of input values with output values. We call the set of input values the domain and the set of output values the range. Just like any relationship which could be shown through letters, flowers, and chocolates, relation could be presented through the following. First, mapping. 
second equation third table of values fourth set of ordered pairs and the last one through graph so how is function special a function is a relation associating a single output number for every input number to illustrate the idea of a function let me ask you how would you use your calculator to look for the value of 3 squared? Exactly! The number you entered is the input number or x value, that is 3, and the result is the output number or y value, which is 9. Now, the idea of pressing x squared on our calculator illustrates function. Now let me check if you can still differentiate functions from mere relations. To help remember and understand functions, let's think of our input number or the x value as a letter and our output number or the y value as a mailbox. We said that a function is a rule that gives a single output number for every valid input number, granting that our input number is a letter and our output number is a mailbox? Let me ask you, can you have one letter going to two different mailboxes? Of course not. The message will not be delivered well because it will be torn. Can you have two different letters going to a single mailbox? Why not? The person might happen to receive two or even more letters, in other words, ligawin. Just kidding. Now let us use the metaphor of receiving letters to identify if the following mappings are functions or mere relations. If negative 3 is mapped to 3, 1 is mapped to 1, 3 is mapped to 1, and 4 is mapped to negative 2, is the given mapping a function or a mere relation? You're right. It is a function since every input number is mapped onto exactly one output number. How about this? Negative 3 is mapped to 3, 1 is mapped to negative 2, 1 is mapped to 1, and 4 is mapped to 4. Is it a function or a mere relation? Bravo! This is not a function but simply a mere relation. Input 1 is mapped onto both negative 2 and 1, and should it be a letter, the message will not be delivered well. Now let's exercise literally by standing if it is a relation and sitting when the given is a function. You heard it right. Stand if relation, sit if function. Good luck! For item number 1, 1 is mapped to 6, 2 is mapped to 2, 4 is mapped to 4, and 5 is mapped to 10. At this juncture, you should be standing because the given is a relation. 3 is not mapped anywhere. Remember, if you're a mailman, you should deliver all the letters. For the next item, 3 is mapped to 2, 1 is mapped to 6, 2 is mapped to 2, 4 is mapped to 4, and 5 is mapped to 10. Is it a function or a mere relation? Will you sit or stand? At this point, you should be sitting because the given mapping is a function. Not all boxes should contain mails, but all mails should be delivered. So it's okay if there is no value mapped to 8. Now pause the video and continue exercising by doing activity 2 of your module. For now, pause the video. I suppose we got them all correct. Now let's proceed to set of ordered pairs. By the way, this is how we name an ordered pair or a coordinate. 1, 2. May I hear you say it? Alright, the first coordinate is called abscissa and the second one is called coordinate. So if we have sets of ordered pairs, let us be guided by the statement below to identify if the given is a function or a mere relation. No two ordered pairs can have the same first coordinate, meaning we should have unique values of our abscissas. 
So which of the following are functions and mere relations? Set 1 for example, 9, 10, negative 5, negative 2, 2, negative 1, and 3, negative 9 is a function because there is no repeated value of our abscissa. Next set, 6a, 8f, 6b, and negative 2p is a mere relation because 6 is repeated twice. Finally, set 3, z7, y negative 5, r7, z0, and k0 is a mere relation because z is repeated twice. Let's continue our exercise. Stand if it's a relation and remain on your seat if it's a function. Please refer to activity 3 of your module. For now, pause the video. I hope you did great with the activity. For table of values, just like set of ordered pairs, we check if there is duplicated abscissa or x value with different y values. For example, the table above is a relation because 2 is repeated. The one below is a function because there is no repeated x value or no x value with two different y values. Exercise time! Are you going to sit or stand? Please refer to page 14 of your module and answer activity 4 by identifying if the given table of value is a function or a mere relation. Good luck! For now, pause the video. I expect you answered the previous activity flawlessly. Now let's explore how we check if a given equation is a function or a mere relation. First, we have to investigate by substituting a single value to the equation. If it yields to two or more answers, it is a relation. If otherwise unique, then it is a function. For instance, y equals x squared. If we substitute 4 to the value of x, y is equal to x squared will become y equals 4 squared. Squaring 4 will give us a single value which is 16, hence y equals x squared is a function. How about the equation below y squared equals x? If x equals 4, then y squared equals x will become y squared equals 4. Extracting the roots of both sides will yield to 2 and negative 2. Now that we have two values of y, y squared equals x is a relation. Now let's have a brief exercise by rising if it's a relation and remaining on your seats if it's a function. Please do activity 5 on page 15 of your module by deciding if a given equation is a function or a mere relation. Good luck! For now, pause the video. Now, let's have graphs. Speaking of graphs, we cannot go away with René Descartes' Cartesian coordinates system. Remember that when labeling our quadrants, we do it counterclockwise. And the intersection of the two axes is called the origin. Do you remember plotting of points? From an equation, we will have several ordered pairs after substituting different values of x to the equation. And if we will plot all the points, we will form the graph of the equation. Now how do we check if the given graph is a function or a mere relation? We use the vertical line test. If it is possible for a vertical line to intersect a graph at more than one point, then the graph is a mere relation. For example, given this graph here, and if we have a yellow line to represent the vertical line, and if we pass it through the graph, it is a relation because it intersected the graph at more than one point. The next one, on the other hand, is a function since the vertical line passed through the graph at exactly one point. Exercise time! You know the drill. If it's a function, you remain in your seats. If it's a relation, you stand. Graph number one. Function or mere relation? 
At this point, you should be sitting because it is a function. Next graph. Still, you are supposed to be seated because it is a function. Next graph. At this point, you should be standing because it is a relation. How about this graph here? This time, you should be sitting because it is a function. You continue with activity on the next page. Good luck! For now, pause the video. I believe that would be a comprehensive review. Now let's dig into our lesson today. Do you agree that before they let you take their pictures, they have to be in supermodel pose? So when we're asked to model, does it mean we will give our best shot and strike a pose? When modeling, it means representing real-life situations through functions. And to translate, we have to review symbolizing terms like those found in your module on page 18. After going through the table on page 18, accomplish activity 7 by representing the following scenarios through functions. The first item is done for you. The sum of the ages of Mark and Sheila equals 47. We'll use M to represent Mark's age and S to represent Sheila's age. Since we're talking about sum, we use addition. Hence, our model will be M plus S equals 47. It's up to you to accomplish the rest of the numbers. Good luck! For now, pause the video. I'm pretty sure you did great. But did you encounter difficulty in modeling item 7? That is normal because item 7 requires two models. We call it piecewise function. Piecewise functions are situations that can be modeled using two or more equations depending on the value of the input. To model the scenario of microorganism doubling in number after every second but stops multiplying after 7 seconds, we have to investigate by completing such table to recognize the pattern. Since it doubles after every second, we multiply the previous number by 2 to obtain 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. After which, we stop multiplying beyond 7 seconds. Notice that the first 7 seconds could be modeled by M of S meaning number of microorganisms with respect to time in seconds equals 2 raised to S. Meanwhile, beyond 7 seconds could be modeled by simply M of S equals 128 because the number is constant by then. Let's summarize the models by adding the restrictions using semicolon. Thus, the models are M of S equals 2 raised to S when S is less than or equal to 7 and M of S equals 128 when S is greater than 7. Let's have another problem. A jeepney ride costs 9 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and each additional integer kilometer adds 150 to the fare. We now investigate by completing such table. Notice that for the first 4 kilometers, the fare is constant. Therefore, it could be modeled by simply f of d, meaning fare in terms of distance, equals 9 pesos. Beyond 4 kilometers, on the other hand, we require 150 for every additional integer kilometer, so we'll have 1050, 12, 1350, and so on. This could be modeled by f of d equals 9 pesos plus 150 quantity d minus 4. We have to include minus 4 since that is where we start adding 150. Hence, the models in paying a jeepney ride are f of d equals 9 pesos when d is less than or equal to 4 and f of d equals 9 plus 150 quantity d minus 4 when d is greater than 4. 
so much for examples. Now it's your turn to accomplish activity 8 on page 21 of your module. For now, pause the video. With all the learnings you had, it's your turn to apply them on application part, generalize your learning on what I learned, and show mastery by completing the pause assessment and enrichment activity. Good luck, but more importantly, enjoy! This concludes our first video learning module. Hope you had a good time. See you next week. God bless and take care. Bye-bye!